The uh, next performance drill that we're going to review is the left test, the lower extremity functional test. Uh, you're basically going to set up two cones at 10 yards distance or 33 feet from there. First off, I'll have Derek kind of demonstrate it. He's going to, what you're going to do is you're going to start your timer. He's going to run to the first cone. He's going to break down, back pedal to the next cone. When he gets here, he's going to change directions, side shuffle, side shuffle back. He's going to karaoke, karaoke, and then he's going to turn and run through that last cone here. All right, a couple of things you're, you're going to be looking at in this drill. First off, it's an assessment drill, or you can use it as a, a, a training drill. Either way, whatever you'd like to do. If you use it as an assessment drill, don't have them do this drill throughout their training program. Have them do other drills that will kind of complement this. Have them visit this drill again when they reassess to see how well they've gotten as far as with changing directions. Uh, the, one of the biggest things that you want to look for when they're doing this is, are they hopping into their change of direction? Oftentimes, you're going to see them either shuffling or karaoke, and they're going to hop into each break. Uh, keep in mind, when the more time you spend in air, the slower you are. So watch for that. It's a great assessment tool. Uh, it, it really tests their uh, ability to run. Uh, in sagittal plane, frontal plane, rotate, break down, break down while rotating. So phenomenal tool to use in the beginning and then to reassess as well after. Uh, you don't have to use the 10 yards. You can make it longer. You can make it shorter. You can make it whatever distance you really want, but be consistent that whatever you use in the beginning for your test, you're going to use that same distance when you reassess them.